The Apple Watch Series 9 was just released alongside the iPhone 15 lineup, and unfortunately, Apple didn't give us any notable upgrades to the Apple Watch Series 9, except for the new S9 chip that slightly improves the performance. You can see right here, I have the Apple Watch Series 9 and the Apple Watch Series 8, and they both look identical with the same exact design. We still have all of the same sensors from the Series 9 that was in the Series 8, which includes the blood oxygen sensor, the temperature sensing, the electrical heart sensor, and crash detection. So we will be able to still track our body temperature, track the oxygen in our blood, track our heart rate, and we still have crash detection, which will automatically contact emergency services if you were to get in a severe car crash and you couldn't respond. And because the Series 9 has all of these same sensors as the Series 8, I just don't see how it would be worth it to upgrade because you won't notice hardly anything different except for a few minor things. The new S9 chip is the biggest change to the Apple Watch Series 9 and it allows it to perform a little bit faster and process machine learning tasks up to two times faster according to Apple. And after spending some time with my Apple Watch Series 9 versus my Series 8, I have noticed just a bit of a difference in the overall performance but I honestly wouldn't have even recognized it if I wasn't looking out for it. The second and really the only other important difference to the Series 9 is a slightly brighter display. It can now go all the way up to 2000 nits, which is double than the Series 8, making it a lot more visible when out in the sun. Plus the screen can now be dimmed all the way down to just one nit, so if you're in low light situations like a movie theater, then the screen's not gonna be too bright. In terms of the aluminum colors, we still have the same exact ones, including silver, which I think looks really good. There's also Starlight, Midnight, that product red color, and also a new pink color in the Series 9 that has been released alongside the pink iPhone 15. The stainless steel case still has the same gold, silver, and graphite case as before, so there's nothing new there. Now thanks to the new second generation UWB chip in the Apple Watch Series 9, we can now use precision finding to find your iPhone 15 if you accidentally misplace it. This allows you to track and find your phone just like an AirTag, so it'll show you which direction to walk in, and you can also use the audio and different sounds so that you could find your phone a little bit easier. This is honestly an incredible feature to have and I'm really happy that Apple introduced it to the Apple Watch Series 9. Now the new S9 chip allows us to have the new double tap feature in the Apple Watch Series 9 that allows you to tap your index and thumb together twice to control certain things on the Apple Watch so that you don't have to touch the screen. We can use this double tap feature to access a bunch of different accessibility features like stopping a timer, answering or ending phone calls, taking photos through your iPhone so you can prop your phone up and then do the double tap feature and it will automatically take pictures for you, and also navigating through the smart stack widget on the watch face thanks to watch OS 10. And I personally haven't used this feature a whole lot yet, so it'll be really interesting to see how much I end up using it. So we do have a few new features, but they absolutely aren't anything that would make me want to upgrade to the Series 9 from the 8 because it still would just not be worth it. The battery life is the same at 18 hours with about the same quick charging. The overall design is the exact same in the Series 9 and the Series 8. We still have all of these same sensors. And really all that has been changed is a performance boost with the new S9 chip a slightly brighter display, iPhone tracking, and the new double tap feature, which are all nice features to have, but I just don't think they're worth it for an upgrade if you already have the Series 8. However, if you do have the Apple Watch Series 7 or anything older or the Apple Watch SE, then you will see a much bigger difference in terms of the speed and capabilities with the Apple Watch Series 9, making an upgrade much more worth it. And I do wanna mention that Apple did release some new Apple Watch bands, including these textile bands, which I think are pretty cool, and they are also carbon neutral. I personally got this magnetic midnight sport loop, which I think looks and feels really nice. And there was also a new magnetic link that has kind of a suede material that is now replacing the leather. I do wish we could have gotten a black color in the sport loop or the magnetic link band, 
but I do think that this Midnight is close enough and it does look really good with this silver. Overall, I am just a little bit disappointed that the new Series 9 doesn't have any other features that separates it from the Series 8. But what do you guys think about the Apple Watch Series 9? Make sure to let me know in the comments down below because I'd love to hear what you think. If you guys want to see my recent unboxing of the new iPhone 15 Pro Max in natural titanium, which looks absolutely stunning, you can check it out right here and also make sure to subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.